Hey guys, this is Jerry with yet another video. In this video, I want to show you how to actually create YouTube Shorts on Premiere Pro or any other uh, video editing softwares that you have. So YouTube Shorts are actually vertical videos just like in TikTok. So recently, YouTube has added this feature. So it's also a great way to promote your channel, you know, making shortest videos possible, straight to the point. And now, the way it actually suggests videos to YouTube users is completely random. So there is a huge chance your video could reach millions, especially if you are a new YouTuber, you should create YouTube shorts for each and every video you upload to YouTube. The idea is to create the shortest video possible, talking about the main point of that uh, video. So currently YouTube shorts are not monetized, but in the future, it could be monetized. There is a potential and YouTube has admitted it. So in the future, they could be monetizing YouTube Shorts as well, it's just like we see on some other platforms as well. So in this video, I'll show you how to create YouTube Shorts of any videos that you have on your PC that you have already created. So we are going to use Premiere Pro in this tutorial, okay? So you can actually use any other videos or editing software, but I'll give you some tips how to do that, okay? So for that, I'm gonna launch Premiere Pro here and here create a new project and name it YouTube Shorts so then click OK I'll create a new project so there you go and this is where we edit uh, switch it to this assembly tab here and here you can actually import a video that you want to convert into YouTube Shorts it could be 1080p or 1440p whatever the video size is and here this is where you edit your video this is called timeline this is where you drop your medias and here you can actually adjust the timing and the length of the video and if you want to remove some part of the video you can do that and i'll show you how to do that i'm gonna import a video here and if you want to create a sequence like you know sometimes you may have 1080p video in that case you want to create 1080p video in that case you need to create a sequence if you want to and go to files and create project and sequence this is where the sequence is created and you can go for any of these format here like you know in my case it's 1080p i don't need to create because um the video i'm gonna uh, import is actually 1080p then i will ch just drop it on the timeline it'll automatically create a sequence you don't necessarily need to create a sequence yourself okay so here just import the video that you want to create the youtube shots from and here among us this is a video I'm going to convert into YouTube Shorts. This is actually 1080p, the horizontal video, right? So I'm going to drag and drop it here. So that's it. So it's actually three minutes long, I think. It's actually three minutes long. It should be 3.5 minutes long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some part of this video out so that it only shows um, the main part of the video, okay? The one thing is that the other thing is uh, I'm going to either rotate this or adjust the re resolution of this video so it can be watched vertically uh, that's the idea here so you see this I don't want some part of this video so here it is I'm gonna cut that part out and here it shows this part you know discussion part I don't want it I don't want this part okay and this is where it starts so what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna cut this part out okay from here I'll stop okay then from here I just remove this so I need to cut down the length of this video so what I'm gonna do is uh, from here I check what's happening here then okay he's just walking around and this is where some events happens right okay there you go there happens a murder okay so what I'm gonna do is just slice the video here and just right click on this particular clip and speed the duration if you want to include whole gameplay the here it's gameplay right whole gameplay but at the same time it should be one minute long it shouldn't go beyond one minute right so maximum length you can have on a YouTube short is 60 seconds so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, increase the speed of this particular clip like you know 200 percentage so this way I can actually include all the major parts of uh, this video right so in one minute okay so that's it now I get this page here right so I just drag it here 
and adjust the position then see the video there what's happening there that happens a motor you see that Boom. there you go so that happens then let's take a look what's happening next so again there another motor right so whenever a murder happens i'm gonna slow down okay so there you go there you go what i'm, what I'm gonna do is just just do it uh, speed this part like 200 plus mesh okay then again boom So it's, look at this now it's just one minute long and you can make it a little bit shorter like you know 15 9 seconds that's better to make sure it's actually shown as YouTube shorts you know we should make sure it's between 30 to 50 seconds that's it not longer than 60 seconds so that's most important so make it like you know 15 9 seconds that would be better so like this okay so that's not an important part so that's fine okay there you go then what I'm gonna do is I'm just select all these clips and just right click and nest so give it a name so it has been converted to single clip so you can actually easily adjust the zooming and stuff if you're you know editing on Premiere Pro so there's the idea of you know nesting these video clips together so you can add some effects and if you want to if you add some effects to on this particular clip it actually applies to all the clips within this particular nest right it makes editing easier so that's the whole point then however i was talking about youtube shots so here what i'm gonna do is this is one minute long horizontal video 1080p video right look at this this one minute long that's it okay so what you needed to do is just like i showed you just if you have a video that's 10 minutes long and you want to show the main part of that video as a youtube shot just remove all that useless parts of your video cut it down to 60 seconds and show the main part so what we're gonna do is just go to sequence and click here sequence settings okay and this is where you change the aspect ratio of this uh, video so we should be able to watch this video vertically so I'm gonna focus on the main character in this video instead of showing other section of this video like you know report but and sabotage but I don't want to show uh, any of this things i just want to focus on the main character okay so what i'm gonna do is just uh, change the frame size here and here you type 1080p and and here 1920 then just leave it and click ok click ok so now you can see that it's just focusing on the main character however there is a problem and here you can see that there is this black section at the top and bottom uh, of this video because we adjusted the frame size so what we're gonna do is we are just going to get rid of it so to get rid of it you need to go to effects then and here you can actually scale the video here okay okay yeah. or zoom in okay so here like this okay that's fantastic now that's perfect right doesn't show any black border at the top or bottom but yes it just shows this this much of this black border at the top and bottom but that's fine okay and if you want to further it, you can do that you can scale as much as you want there you go now you have YouTube shots and here you can watch this you see that it's just focusing on the main character just watch it see so that's really cool right okay basically that's how you create YouTube shots okay but what if you have a video that you want to show a whole section of the video I mean left and right section of that video in in here you don't actually see left or right section of the video because it's been zoomed in right it only shows the middle section of the video mainly the character what if you want to show the whole section of the video I mean uh, like you know right left and right side of the video uh, not just the middle okay in that case you either need to scale down this video like you know like this it'll be shown like this okay or 
you need to rotate the video like here you can actually rotate like 90 degree okay then 90 degree and zoom in just type in 90 degree okay 90 and here just scale up to 100 so your viewers can actually watch this video like this okay on their phone as a YouTube shots it will it will still be shot as YouTube shots but however they'll have to hold that phone horizontally instead of vertically you know so if you watch this video vertically it's just upside down right so that's what you can actually do if you want to show the whole section of your video and to export this video you just uh, put the player here click all on your keyboard or you can just click this button here mark out okay and move this button here and put mark, mark in this one okay so it only renders clip within this in and out section of this sequence right then you need to render this video right to render this video just go to file and there is this export and go to media and you want this uh, high quality right so what we needed to do is just match source height bitrate that's fine and you can adjust the bitrate here so the quality of the video will be better like you know now it's 10 mbps bitrate so in that case we can set it to 16 to make it even better right it'll actually show the size of the video here it's just 119 mb that's completely okay so 16 is a decent bitrate for a video like this so it should look really good on phone not chop your blurry so it should look really good and you can change the key frame distance like to 2 okay so that's it and here you can actually change uh, the profile like from main to high okay set it to high that's better so so you get high quality video that's it and this is where you actually change the name of the output video you can click that and you can actually save this video wherever you want on your hard drive okay then after that just click export and if you have um, Adobe Media Encoder and if you want to encode this video on your media encoder you can just click this Q and it will be exported to media encoder and you can actually render from there okay you can just render it from here just it's a sh short clip uh, it'll only take a few minutes so just click export then it's being exported that's it that's how it actually works that's how you create YouTube shots and once it's ready you can upload it to just like any other videos you upload it to YouTube you can upload it to YouTube and give it a title whatever the title you want add some tags and some description and maybe use a hashtag like you know shots in the description one of your hashtags should be um, shots okay so if someone searches like you know shots and sometimes your video could pop up so that's how it actually works so that's how you actually create youtube shots on premiere pro so i hope this helps guys don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and thanks for watching